how to connect a domain to your Canva website. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So you may have just created your Canva website and then you have published your website and uh, it's all looking good. The website is looking great, but uh, the only thing that isn't great is that uh, you have this ugly domain. Like what is this? .my.canva.site yeah, that doesn't look exactly professional and you want to change that. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so let's go back to Canva and I'm going to click on my website right here in order to edit it. So let me go over here to publish website right here. Click on that. And then right here under publish to the web, we can uh, do a couple things and as you can see here is uh, the currently published one and now in order to change that domain we can click on change right here so click on that and currently as you can see we're using the free domain so that's the free domain that you saw on my website that's the .canva.site thing and you can have up to five live websites on this so five published websites with a free domain by Canva and so then there's two more options you can purchase a new domain so you will purchase it through canva so you can get a .com domain or another top level domain name or you can also use uh, an existing domain if you already have one you might already have one from a different domain register so then you would have to use uh, click on use my existing domain Okay, so first of all, let me show you how to purchase a domain through Canva. So let me choose this option and then let's click on continue. And now you can just um, type in your domain name, your desired one. And um, yeah, that will make sure you uh, choose a name that uh, is professionally looking. Um, and so let me uh, just type in crawloo.com for my example right here and looks like um, the domain crawloo.com is taken that's why it doesn't show up so I can't use that one so I might want to play around and add some things to it or I can uh, choose another domain uh, ending or some variations that would work it's also giving me some like all crawloo.com would work so I would recommend uh, sticking to .com, .net or preferably .com though because that just looks the most professional. Unless you are a local business in uh, a country and you want to use the uh, country specific domain ending, that works too. So now I would just choose one. I'm just going to use, uh, I'm just going to go with crawler.net for this example. So I'll click on claim right here and then I'm going to have to fill in uh, my details. Okay, so I've just uh, gotten to the next step, the fourth one. And so here we can review our settings. And so here we can see our URL again, and we can click on this um, pen in order to add uh, something behind the URL, like slash, and then, uh, I don't know, just try home. And then the website will be found by going to crawler.net slash home. So I'm gonna click on preview and that's how it will look. Okay, and then we can also change uh, this right here. So let's click on the pen again and we can type something in here and then we can click on preview. And uh, that's, the, that's what's being shown uh, in the uh, browser tab up here. That's what it says there, home for this example. And I'm gonna change it to my awesome website and then we can put a website description right here and this is for the search engines uh, for the search results that's what that's what will appear um, below the title in uh, the search results make sure you fill that out with something relevant and then there's two more options right here you can enable password protection so what that will do is um, you will have to enter a password in order to access the website. So you don't usually want that if you're trying to uh, make this website a public website. And then the other option is hide my website from search engines. That's quite self-explanatory. So it won't show up on Google or something like that. 
and then you can see what you'd have to pay and this is monthly and so then you would click on continue and there's one more step where you have to click on continue again and do some verifications and then you should be done and you will have uh, bought your new domain name and uh, connected it to your Canva website. All right, so if you want to have a custom domain, but do it for cheaper or free, if you already have one, it's gonna be free. You can do it uh, for free at least. So I'm gonna show you a way uh, that you can do that. So I'm gonna click on publish again and then right here, I'm gonna um, open up my website and I'm going to copy my URL right here. So copy that. And then um, I'm assuming you already have an existing uh, domain name, so you will have to go to your, your domain register. All right, so I've navigated to the website of my domain name register. And I'm using Freenom for this example. I can't necessarily recommend them. They do give out free domains though. But uh, I've heard some, I've read some bad reviews. I haven't had any bad experiences with them yet, but I haven't really used them for a serious website either. But in order to show this, uh, it's okay. This will be very similar for different domain name providers. So I'm going to click on manage domain and then uh, it should be under management tools. And uh, for this free way of doing it, you will have to find something along the lines of URL forwarding, something like that should be uh, available. And so right here, you will have to enter a URL to forward your domain to. And I'm going to paste um, the uh, my website URL that I copied earlier. And so there's different forward modes for this. So you can either uh, do redirect, which will um, which will let your users end up on the actual website on this domain in the end, or you can do frame, which um, will embed this uh, URL on uh, your domain. So I'm gonna click on set URL, and then it's uh, safe to change it successfully. So now if I navigate to my um, website or to my domain, as you can see, um, okay, that doesn't work. Okay, so you will have to, for the forward mode, you will have to do something like redirect. It might be named a bit differently for you on your domain provider, but uh, something like that. Frame, unfortunately, doesn't work because um, Canva will refuse the connection. So you will have to do redirect. So set URL and there we go. The changes have been saved. Okay, and now uh, if I, um, navigate to my domain, you can see I get redirected to my Canva website. As you can see, the domain uh, is now the subdomain of Canva that we had earlier, but uh, in links, it will look a lot better. Uh, you will have your top level domain. So that's the free way of doing it. There is also a better way of doing it, but uh, for that, you do need um, to have the uh, Canva Pro version. But I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So if you do have the Canva Pro version, that's the best way of doing it. Um, apart from uh, buying the domain via uh, Canva, if you don't have one yet, you could do that as well. Although you could probably get it cheaper elsewhere. Okay, so I'm going to click on uh, change again right here. And then I'm going to click on use my existing domain. So that's how you would do that and uh, then click on continue and unfortunately this feature is only available to canva pro users so you will have to get canva pro and then it will uh, guide you through the steps and the first step would be to delete any um, records uh, that you may already have on your domain register so i'm going to show you an example i'm here in the dns management for my domain and then you might have any uh, records here like a records or c name records and if you have any of those you uh, would want to delete them and um, that's just going to be the case if you have already connected your domain to a different website and if you haven't done that yet then you won't have to do this step 
uh, then the next step would actually be to add uh, records again and you would have to add the text records first so um, on your domain register you uh, want to uh, add a uh, record of the type text txt and then you want to uh, copy and paste from your canva into your into here the name as well as the value that's what it says on canva into the target field right here or it might be uh, named a bit differently but something like that and then you will want to add that one and then uh, i'm gonna have to click on more records right here and the next step would be to add a to add the first a record so we'd have to do uh, to choose the type a and then you would have to copy again the name and copy the value in here and then you need one more a record again and for this one you do uh, basically exactly the same copy from canva paste in here and then make sure that you always save your changes or i have to do it only once here so click on save changes and you should be good to go so once you have done that you could go back to canva and click on connect uh, domain and then the first step will look just like this with your url right here you can edit that you can add uh, something you can add a slash with uh, something else if you want to and you can uh, change the browser tab preview which is uh, what shows up in the top which is what shows up as a name in the browser tab like home right here and then you can put in a website description which uh, shows up on google search results on search engine results and then you can just click on publish i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a like and comment down below if it worked i'll see you again soon bye